Okay, here I'm going to show how to read an arbitrary XML document using FME 2012. The world's full of these arbitrary XML documents, and with FME 2012, it's super easy to read them. So, for example, here's one from the city of Vancouver that's all about business licenses. So, if I open this with a um, tool, say I'm using Notepad++, you'll see that uh, the whole file is nothing but one business license XML subdocument after another, and you can see them highlighted here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm simply going to grab one, okay, because I'm going to need this tag for FME. So I'm going to remember that tag and the rest of the stuff I just want it blown out, flattened out. I don't really care about the XML structure. In fact the XML structure is just getting in the way. So now it's the same document I open with FME Workbench. <coughs> Excuse me. And in this case I'm going to go out to KML and we'll put it in uh, C temp C colon slash temp slash fan biz dot KML and the parameters. Um, you'll remember the elements that I wanted to match in this case was simply business license and I want to flatten it because I don't really want to deal with XML anymore. So that's the way that I, uh, I do that. So now I say OK and the it's going to simply whir away now while it uh, builds the workspace to do that. OK, so now it's built the Workspace, and you'll see the schema here on the business side. It's uh, completely flattened the XML into nice user attributes that uh, are easy to work with. And it's done the same on the KML side. Okay, on the KML side, however, I'm going to delete a whole bunch. Okay, because I don't want all these. I'm going to go to KML, so I want very few attributes. In this case, the only ones I want are business name and business type. Um, for, for the purposes of this uh, demonstration. So I'm going to remove all those simply by clicking the minus business name, get rid of these guys, do, do, and get rid of all the other ones. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, there we go. And um, these other KML ID ones, um, I'm going to get rid of those too doing the similar thing. I'm just going to turn them off here. Done that and now I'm going to assign the business name to be the KML description. Now I want, I notice that there's a latitude and longitude here so I'm going to add a 2D point adder and I'm simply going to specify the longitude and the latitude so you can see how easy it is now to work with the data that came from XML. In fact the XML is no longer, I'm no longer concerned about the XML structure at all. I was very easily able to uh, to uh, work with it and get the data. So now I'm going to run it and as usual there's always data issues. You'll see here that in fact some of the latitude and longitude values don't have a value so there's no um, some of the coordinate values are missing. So what I'm going to do here is I'm now going to use an attribute classifier goes to show you that no data is perfect and I'm going only going to take those uh, business licenses in which the longitude is actually has a value that's a float. So longitude and I'm going to say it's a double and so now I run that again and um, first I'm going to set the coordinate system to LL84 and I'm also going to put a sampler here since I know that there's like 37,000 points and um, KML would not be happy with that. That's a KML limit not uh, FME so I'm going to sample those and I'll take every every 50th or so. So I'll take it like that in the order of making this uh, um, go to KML. Okay, so there you go. Anyway, we're working with this document. There we go. We're going to run it. Okay, it ran to completion. Now I'm going to open the KML document. It's in temp. I'm going to open it in Google Earth. And it'll zoom in to the right spot. And you will see that I have that document from the XML in Google Earth. And of course I can click on one and um, I will see the 
name of the business and the business type. So there you go. So that shows you how easy it is to work with arbitrary XML documents in FME 2012. There's many of these you're going to bump into all the time. And using the same strategy, you can rip apart many different types of XML documents.